solo board gaming night here and today I'm gonna review Bullet. Now, if you love solo board games as much as I do, you're really gonna be interested in what I have to say today. As always, I like to show you what the game looks like on the tabletop. So there it is. Doesn't take up a lot of space at all. I ended up putting that rule book and character cards on the top right just to put some space to fill in the emptiness. But this game really does respect your table space. Everything you need will be right here. Your player board, the boss board. Here to the right of my player board, I put my pattern cards. And the center bag, which is what's gonna hold all of the, to all of the, the bullets, as a matter of fact, that you'll be pulling up from the bag and placing it inside of your current bag, which is what in place you'll be placing on your sideboard. Now, since I'm on the topic of these bullets, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know something. Uh, I did not get the deluxe version, so I didn't get those really nice wooden tokens, uh, but I did get 25 millimeter coin capsules, and they really worked wonders. They slide really well on the board. It, it just feels great, and when you put them in a bag and shuffle. It has a good sound and feel to it and just made the gameplay amplified by 10. I, it was awesome. I loved it. I really enjoyed using those coin capsules. But onto the game and why I'm going to right off the bat recommend this as a solo gamer to all the solo enthusiasts out there. And not only that, what's great about this game is if you would have never told me that this game had a competitive or a cooperative mode, I would have never known. That is how well the solo portion of this game is made. And yes, this game has a solo mode. It has a co-op mode, a competitive mode, and a score attack mode. What's more, they're all so well made. None of them feel like they were just tacked on. It was just... I, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that this game, the solo mode, was so well done. It really felt great. And I'm going to show you a basic gist of how the gameplay works. This is not a how-to play. There's a lot of videos out there showing you how to play. This is going to be me explaining certain things so you have an idea how the game works and why I had so much fun with it. So once you choose the character you want to play as and the boss that you wanna fight against. You go ahead, you place 10, to 10 bullets from the center bag into your current bag. And one by one, you're gonna just start drawing out one bullet at a time and placing them on the board. And the way you place it is really simple. Like let's say I would've pulled this yellow three out of the bag. Up here on the, on the site board, you'll see that there's different color uh, bullets. So you'll look at the column or the, the column that has the color that you pulled out and you would count down the number of spaces that's on the, printed on the token. In this case, since there's two tokens already occupying the space on the yellow portion, what you'll do, you'll skip that and only count the empty spaces. So I would go one, two, three, and put that yellow token there. Now let's say, for example, I would have drawn on my next, I would have pulled out another token. On my next token, I would have pulled out a four. I would go to the yellow, to the yellow row again, to column, I mean, and you would count open spaces only, empty spaces only, one, two, three, but notice here, I didn't, it would have landed on the very bottom as the fourth space. So what happens is then you would move this all the way to the left, shift it to the left. And here, if I remove those two, that's your life. What you want to avoid is you want to avoid having all your life covered by bullets because that's how you take damage. So as a player, that's how you avoid damage. That's how you move bullets on the board. I'm gonna just quickly show you how you break bullets. So in this case, that's where these pattern cards come in. You'll have three of them on the side of your board. Every pattern card lets you know how you have to place a bullet or how the bullets have to be on the board in order to pop or break or destroy other bullets around it. 
What I do like is a game that has really, really well-made player reference cards. And this game does that. It shows you how to play each phase. And also what each pattern does. I mean, the, the what the meaning on the patterns are. Like what it looks like. What an empty space is. And what a same number would do look like. And the numbered bullets. And it's just a little handy and nifty reference card too. Just in case you don't know what this means. You just look and be like, okay, any bullet that's in that space, that's what that means. It's very simple. So let's take this as an example. And I do want to show an example of this because it's really imperative that you know what breaking bullets is like and what happens after you break a bullet and the purpose of breaking the bullet apart from avoiding your, your sight to be filled with tokens in which tokens will then come down and cause you damage. So in this example... This is a, uh, it tells me that I have to have two pink ones, two pink bullets here, and any type of bullet there, okay? And the bullets that are in this area right here will be destroyed. So let's just put that on the board. I'm going to move, shift things around, but let's just move, move it on the board. So and let's pretend that I would have had that, okay? I'm going to go ahead and move this like that, Okay. As you could see here, I have, oh, let's add up like that. Let's go like that. As you could see here, I have the two pink bullets and any other bullet, it could be any color. In this case, I just left it pink. So I have the two pink that they were asking for me here, the extra bullet of any color here. And it tells me any bullet, any bullet in this shape right here gets destroyed. So these bullets right here would get destroyed. And what happens then, you take these bullets and you would place them on the incoming portion of the boss. But I just kept them off to the side because it was easier for me to reach. Now another thing to keep in mind, these bullets have different sh uh, shapes on them. And some of them have stars. If you end up popping a star, you look at your ability po uh, portion of your, your character sheet. And in this case, you'll see that some of these abilities have stars on the upper left corner. Whenever you pop or destroy a bullet that's shaped like a star, you get to pull off all the stars that you have on your sheet. So in this case, my character w could flip any, any coin I want, any bullet I want to its blank side. And what that represents is that face down bullets in my sight are all colors. So I could make this any color I want. And that comes in handy and I'll show you why later. And the other one will be like, oh, you, whenever you pop or destroy a bullet with the star, you get to move this up one. That's what it means. It's like an action point, an ability point that they give you. Now, why is that important to know about this right here? Because you start every round with this up on top and you start using them. How do you use them? Well, maybe you have a pattern that you might need to shift something. Maybe uh, let's say I want to move this down. I want to move this down. You'll look here and you say if you pay if you pay one ability point, I can move any bullet down. So you just move it down. And this one, for example, it says pay one ability point. And you could move any bullet diagonal, and I'll just move it diagonal. Any bullet I, I, I choose to move. Uh, this one says, well, if you use two, you get to draw a pattern card, and you just draw another pattern card, which is one of these. And that's pretty much it. So what happens, you end up trying to create these patterns, break or destroy the bullets, send the bullets to the, to the, the boss, in which turn up here, it lets you know a number, and there's four in a row from left to right. There's, there's four different numbers. That means the player count. So in this case, there's 6, 12, 18, and 24. For a one-player game, you need to destroy six bullets to damage her. In a two-player 12, three-player 18, four-player 24 bullets to, to damage her. And her board is filled with these shield tokens. 
So in this case, you would go after you're done using all of the bullets in your current and popping as destroying as many bullets as you can. You refresh by you add you add put this all all the way back to the top. You draw up th uh, three additional uh, fill up all of your your pattern cards until you have a maximum of three, and then you move up to the to the boss portion here. And in the boss portion, you'll say you'll say okay. Uh, did I do whatever pattern the boss will say you better make this pattern if you don't make this pattern Something really nasty is gonna happen to you as you could see here It says you need to have three three bullets in a row of equal number. I did that here You see that but if I wouldn't have had that Whatever's written down here would have occurred which says move all bullets down by two and I would have had to shift every single bullet down by two Notice this boss in particular had two of them. That's because one of her abilities is that she could have more than one pattern that she could use to try to damage you. Now, once you figure out whether or not you were able to avoid or receive whatever damage she gives you, then you count to see how many bullets you were able to put in her incoming. Now, if you were able to do, in this case, a solo player, six of them, you would remove the shield token and if you had exactly six, that's fine. If you had more than six, but less than 12, because you could, as long as you have exactly the amount that it's required, you could, you could break multiple shields, but then you would just have to, whatever it says here, you would just have to uh, do whatever ability she says in the order there. Uh, you would just remove it. And if it's more than six, you just put them all in the bag, no matter what, you put them all in the center. So it behooves you and it's best for you to uh, be as close to the exact number that you need to destroy the shield because anything excess that does, is not enough to destroy a second shield is just gonna be thrown to the center bag. Now, it's also important to know that, let's say if you would have played around and you would have only done four bullets and you never reached the six, well, those will stay there and not go away until the next, until the next round. Then, you will look at the number that's exposed and if the number, the, the number shows seven, you would grab seven bullets from the center bag, place seven bullets into your incoming current, and then guess what? Those are the bullets that on the next round, you're going to be playing and placing on here, trying to pop and destroy as many bullets as you can. And that's it. That's the game. It's really simple, it was really quick to learn, really easy to understand, but apart from that, it plays so quickly. I think I played it in like 20-ish minutes or so. It took me about 20 minutes, but I think it could fluctuate depending how, how quickly you move. I just like to take it slow, but the box says 10 or 15 minutes. I absolutely believe it. I believe that this game can be played in 10 or 15 minutes, and can you believe how much fun you can have in those 10 to 20 minutes of playing, it's, you do not need a grand adventure to have fun. If you, if you don't have two or three hours to set aside and play a game, this is a game that you could not only sit down and play quickly, but win or lose, this game you could clear it and set up an, a new game in seconds. Absolute seconds and just go at it again. Tear down and, and set up in this game is crazy easy. It's just simply one of the probably the easiest games, the quickest to set up, quickest to tear down that I have. And even, even if you organize them, I've organized everything, but it's just such an easy game to set up so fast to play. And if that's what you're looking for, a quick, quick solo experience that's intriguing and it's going to keep you interested and entertained the whole time i guarantee you this is an in, engaging engaging game i absolutely think that it might be one of the funnest quickest solo board games i have ever played and i've played a lot of board games but none of them have been as quick and as satisfying as this. This is the cream of the crop. This is it. This is such a fun game. If you're like me that sometimes you're like, I wanna play a game, but I don't wanna play a game that just takes five hours, three hours, two hours to play, this is it. 
Go get yourself this game. Not only that, for the price, you have so many different... You have competitive, cooperative, score attack, and solo. And the solo is so good. It really feels like you're fighting with this, this heroine or this boss in this case. And it, every character has a different ability. And the way they... like This character, for example, her ability is she flips over, over the tokens. And that could be any color. So it'll be easier for her to manipulate her pattern cards. And that's her ability. But another ability, which is this one, this one was so neat, but it's a little, uh, I wouldn't play her as the first one. She loves the number three, okay? Cause she loves triangles. And what she ends up doing, her abilities all refer to like the threes and, and the abilities that she has. In other words, what I'm trying to say to you is you will never play this area right here, the current, the same. They will be different. You will play this differently with each and every single character you play. And that is, I think, the biggest strength that this game has. And apart from that, every boss that you play, they also act and fight and have different abilities that will not only... Will you be thinking about playing differently here? You'll be thinking differently about what's coming up later in the boss area. So this game really keeps you on your toes with multiple ways to play. I, I don't think you could get bored of this game. I, I honestly do not think you could get bored of this game because there's just so many ways to play it. And so many ways to, to play it with others that in just the solo portion alone, it has so much content. Really does. I am shocked and thrown back how much content this game holds and contains inside its box. Definitely worth it. If you love solo board games, do yourself a favor. Find it. Go. I think it might be sold out in certain places. You Just go search for it. Go search for it. Look for it. Put it in your cart. Purchase it. I guarantee you. You are going to have a great time with this game. This is not hyperbole. This is honest truth as from one solo player to another. Go get yourself Bullet. It's such a quick game. So enjoyable. So engaged. You, it's going to be one of those, oh, I want to do it again. Do it again. And since setup is so quick, you're like, hey, all right, set up. Throw everything back in the center bag and let's do it all over again. It's so quick that, I mean, it's really hard not to play two, three, four games in a row. It really is. If you're not, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. That's probably one of the biggest surprises that I've had. You know, I've played a lot of good solo board games. I really have. And just recently, there was one that really made me feel similar. But this one... I'm telling you, you want to have fun, you like solo board games, there's enough to it. There's enough, enough, like people say, meat in the game. There's a lot of, a, a, a lot of moves you could make, a lot of different opportunities and variations of the things that you could do to keep this game feeling fresh and strong. Honestly, I think forever. I think this is a game that 10 years down the road, you could say like, yeah, bullet, Harry, let me pop that game out and you'll still have fun 10 years from now. Keep that in mind. Really keep that in mind. And as for me, thank you so much for coming and watching my review. I really hope that I helped you find another great solo board game in bullet because that's really my job. And my mission is to help you find the games that I love playing solo. And Bullet definitely, definitely takes that. This was Solo Board Gaming Night. Thank you so much for joining me. And I truly hope that you guys have a great game night.